Hello, good and faithful people of the Church of the Mediator. It's Father Dale. I hope you're well whenever and wherever it is you hear this message this week. My question for the week is, where is some place that you feel like you can breathe easy? Where can you breathe easy, relax, let, let all the tension out of yourself and out of your body and just be? Where is that spot for you? Before I go into a little bit about West Park, uh, which I am outside on the fire escape standing up here making this video this week, I want to mention to you Sunday is our kickoff Sunday for the fall and winter program year. We will celebrate one bilingual Eucharist in English and Spanish at 10 a.m. And following the service, please plan to stay on the lawn. We will have a picnic. There will be sandwiches. There will be chips. Uh, there will be drinks. I know Mary Beth Borey and Blair McFadden have been organizing that. And it will be a great time of gathering and celebration, enjoying uh, our lawn, and also a time to enjoy each other on kickoff Sunday. So please plan to stay after the liturgy on Sunday. And, and it's not a bad time at all, as if there is ever a bad time, but certainly kickoff Sunday is not a bad time at all to invite somebody to church because you know I love it when you do that. And that is, uh, it's a great Sunday for us to gather with additional people and to invite them into, uh, deeper into our community of faith uh, to follow Jesus with us to enjoy and grow with us as a community of faith and followers of Jesus in the Episcopal tradition. So please invite somebody to church. Make sure, my friends, that you put on your calendars uh, Sunday the 22nd at 5 p.m. for Evensong. Our choir has been working hard on the beautiful music of Herbert Howells which will, uh, will lift our souls heavenward. I am certain of that. Um, and then also remember, speaking of West Park, that Art in the Park is happening on Saturday, September 14th from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. We will be out here just a little bit below where I am making this video now uh, with our concession stand. The planning team has been doing great work on that. There are sign-up geniuses out to sign up to volunteer as well as to uh, make in-kind donations or to make monetary donations of things that we will then sell to benefit the parish. Please, uh, please utilize those sign-up geniuses or call Eurydice if you feel like you're uh, unsure of how to use them. Uh, or email uh, me or Eurydice and we will make sure that you are signed up. We are grateful for your helping out with that because of course it is one of our major fundraisers for the parish and it's a way for us also, of course, to be present to our community in Art in the Park. I am told that there is a record-breaking number of artists signed up to be here. They're expecting lots of people in the park that day. It will be amazing for us to be present again. Um, and of course, on that day at 3.30 in the afternoon, our own choir will be singing in the band shell uh, that I can turn. There's our beautiful uh, Edwardian band shell here in Art in the Park, in, in, in West Park rather, um, which we are really uh, blessed to have here. You know, West Park was the first public park in Allentown and it was envisioned um, by uh, Harry Trexler, General Trexler, um, and also the mayor at that time, um, who wanted to make sure that there was a space to breathe, is what General Trexler said. It was designed as an arboretum and that's why we have um, over 70 varieties of trees in the park. Uh, there is going to be a link below, so if you want to see the diagram of the trees in the park, you should definitely check that out. And also over a uh, hundred, I believe, varieties of shrubs. It's a really incredible, rich place. In this season of creation, of creation tide, from uh, last Sunday through the first Sunday in October, it's good to be reminded of the richness of Allentown's parks, one of the great gems that we have, and the great heritages we have as Allentown. Antonians, um, and that we, the Church of the Mediator, get to sit alongside this glorious park, the first public park in this city, um, and a park that is so special because of the numbers of varieties of trees and shrubs and this band shell, which is a historic, uh, a historic gift to us as well. It's pretty awesome. Um, I wanted to read to you from a little, a little book uh, by Phillips Brooks, who was a bishop of the church, but also was uh, up at Trinity Church Copley Square 
in uh, in Boston. He was known, he's known best for having written the text of a little town of Bethlehem, but he was known in his day as a great preacher. This was a little book that's called a yearbook, and which means that each day there's a little reflection by Phyllis Brooks. But I wanna read you the reflection for September 5th, which says, uh, be interested in some pursuit which will take you into quite unfamiliar fields. And he goes on to say, let the country, when you can, scatter the cobwebs of the city out of your brain and send you back to its richer life, refreshed and simplified. Above all, let the peace of God, the peace of trust and love, the peace of religion flow in upon your consciousness the moment that business care gives it a moment's freedom. Whenever necessary, thought of self gives way for an hour. Oh, how good it is if the thought of the father instantly, without waiting to be summoned, takes possession of the child. And he has a couple of stanzas from a hymn by Matthew Arnold. Calm soul of things, make it mine to feel amid the city's jar that there abides a peace of thine man did not make and cannot mar. The will to neither strive nor cry, the power to feel with others give. Calm, calm me more, nor let me die before I have begun to live. I like this little reflection for today because it also reminds us that we are, we need to take time for uh, refreshment and simpler living, but also that we can be grateful for those times when the peace of God and trust and love flows in upon our consciousness. There are, there are spaces all around us here in Allentown, and perhaps other spaces that you know of where you can breathe easy as well, um, that we can go to be able to experience God's goodness, and the goodness of being alive, the goodness of being able to breathe deeply, take that beautiful air into our lungs and remember that creation, my friends, is such an excellent gift from our creator. Blessings, my friends. I'll see you at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Till then.